The fourth speaker is Mr. Takahiro Osaka, representing the University of Tokyo. The title of his speech is Write by Hand, Write by Heart. Write by Hand, Write by Heart. Would you now welcome Mr. Osaka? Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, Honorable Judges, and the President. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have letters which you still cherish? Please take them out of the shelf in your mind. What are they like? They might be something warm, or they might be something shiny. Then, please take them out of the shelf in your house. There must be writing, which at a glance you can recognize who wrote. Writing that means a lot to you. Letters and writing. Today, I'd like to talk about those two words and want you to rethink the unique connection between them. This year, on New Year's Day, as usual, I received a lot of New Year's cards, and all of them told me about coming 2012. But there was one card that I can't forget. It is a monochrome card from a friend of mine, and for other people, it might look boring and uninteresting. However, for me, it has something attractive and gave me a warm feeling. What made that feel different from other cards? It was the handwriting. Handwriting. In modern society, while the chance to see handwriting is getting less and less, that of type is getting more and more. When you look around, the world is overflowing with type. Nothing is more useful than type in this information society. For example, thanks to email, we can communicate with other people rapidly. Now, type is indispensable for modern society. However, no matter how much we get used to type, I still feel some unique power in handwriting, which is different from type. Why is that? The keywords to solve this question are time, body, and mind. But they are too abstract, so I'll show you some examples by analyzing the New Year's card I received. The first point is time. Before he started writing, he might have deeply considered what to write and how to write it. That means it took a great deal of time for him. What's more, I've known him since we were children. So I could realize that his handwriting had changed. It changed as he grew up and experienced many things. In this way, in terms of time, your handwriting reflects the time you take and your life itself. The second point is body. He's left-handed, so his writing is different from that of right-handed people. Moreover, he's a rugby player. And when he wrote a letter, his arm was injured. So his writing was a little bit different than usual. Like this, in terms of body, your handwriting reflects your body's characteristics. The last point is mind. While writing, what was he thinking about? I think it was about, it was about me. We had met for a long time. So from his handwriting, I could read the feeling that he wanted to meet me. Besides, he's a very kind person. And his handwriting showed me how carefully he had written the letter. Like this, in terms of mind, your handwriting reflects what you are thinking about and what kind of person you are. As I mentioned, handwriting is composed of complicated elements. So it seems like a colorful textile. Also, handwriting contains a lot about the writer. And it has spirit which is presented in words and makes us feel as if the person is in front of us. 
I think we should recognize how important handwriting is, and we need to handle it correctly. But to write everything by hand would be unrealistic, and the opportunity to say handwriting is decreasing in modern society. So what should we do? I recommend that we should write letters by hand, because handwriting can convey a strong message. Thanks to Japanese culture, we still have some chances like greetings of the seasons. And as for letters, the most important thing is to convey what we really want readers to realize. By using handwriting, the readers can vividly understand the writer's thoughts. Because of the context, even if we don't use handwriting, we can convey our feeling to the readers. But if we use handwriting, we can convey our feeling not only through the context, but also through the handwriting itself. By doing so, the letters become more colorful. As you know, writing can be called letters. Therefore, in English, both writing and letters are letters. Also in Japanese classics, both of them are called fumi. Writing and letters have been inseparable from the past, still today, and will continue to be so in the future. In modern society, we have become less familiar with this form of self-expression. I believe it's time for us to think again about handwriting and realize the importance of it. Feel free to write letters with your hands. But please keep in mind, write by hand, write by heart. Thank you for listening. Do you write letters? 
Yes, uh, last month I wrote a letter to my grandparents mm -hmm. because last month uh, I went to some beautiful place and I couldn't meet them uh, so much because we live different uh, distance in a distance. So I wrote the letter. So they received it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then what did they say to you? What did they say to you? Uh, in that uh, mail, I talked about this contest and talked about the I went to Kyoto and they replied to me, please buy some souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to buy for them? Uh, I want to buy Yatsuhashi, but I think it's too typical. Mm -hmm. So I try to find something special. Ah, I see. Oko oh, Oko is good. Oko oh, Oko, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Um, <laughs> do we still have time? Uh, not very much. Um, okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much. Thank you.